What if I told you that cricket bats have been made the wrong way for over 200 years and that the best wood might not actually be the best? Today, I put that claim to the test. Stay tuned. I have no personal attachment to cricket. I didn't grow up playing it. I don't follow it. And to be honest, I still don't. And that's exactly why you can trust that I'm looking at this with complete objectivity. Over the past few years, I've picked up woodworking as a hobby, and one thing that intrigued me was the cricket bat. It's made of wood, but has a cane handle. Which, fun fact, isn't wood at all. Cane comes from the grass family, and its flexibility adds elasticity to the bat, improving performance. That alone got me curious. Why is it made the way it is? And why is English Willow considered the gold standard? What really sparked my interest, though, was a conversation at a relative's house. Everyone was talking about sports when cricket came up. They all agreed that English Willow makes the best cricket bats, and that a bat with straight grain on the face is superior. I had never heard any of this before, but when I got home, I decided to look into it. For decades, players have sworn by English Willow. But what if I told you that might be nothing more than tradition? What if there was a better, stronger, and more sustainable alternative? So I started researching how cricket bats are made. Watching YouTube videos, reading about cricket rules, and going down every rabbit hole I could find. One claim kept coming up. English willow is the best wood for cricket bats. That caught my attention, because while I know nothing about cricket, I do know a thing or two about wood. Naturally, I was more interested in the bat itself than the sport. To get a better perspective, I looked into baseball, the most similar sport to cricket. Baseball bats are made from maple, ash, and other hard woods. And unlike cricket bats, they don't use a cane handle. Yet both sports involve hitting a hard, high-speed ball. If English willow is the best for cricket, wouldn't similar principles apply to baseball? That got me thinking. Is willow really the best wood for a cricket bat, or is it just tradition? For this video, I'm focusing solely on the differences between baseball and cricket bats, not the balls, wickets, or any other gear. I'll compare their purpose and functionality to highlight what makes a cricket bat unique and whether English willow is truly the best choice. And since I'm someone who doesn't really like or play cricket, don't make money on YouTube, and have no sponsorships with any cricket bat providers, you can be confident that this is free of bias and as objective as possible. Before we dive in, I just want to mention that creating a video like this takes countless hours of reading, researching, compiling, editing, and documenting. So if you find this video interesting, I'd really appreciate it if you could share it with friends and family who are into this topic. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you enjoy woodworking content. All right, now that that's out of the way, let's get started. A cricket bat is designed for controlled strategic strokes rather than brute power. The flat surface provides a large hitting area to guide the ball in different directions, crucial for a game where batters aim to control shot placement, whereas a baseball bat is built for power and speed. The cylindrical shape allows for a full swing with maximum force, as baseball involves hitting a smaller, fast-moving ball in a split-second decision. Cricket requires a bat that can handle diverse ball movements, including bounce and spin, whereas baseball bats need to make quick, clean contact with a fast ball traveling at high speeds. Cricket players use a more controlled, grounded swing to adapt to variable pitch conditions. Their strokes range from defensive blocks to aggressive lofted shots. Also, timing and shot placement are critical due to fielding restrictions. Whereas, in baseball, a full rotational swing maximizes power. The goal is to drive the ball into the outfield or out of the park. There's no concern about bounce, making an angled, rounded bat more effective. Therefore, in summary, the difference in bat designs is entirely functional and stems from the sport's fundamental mechanics. The bats are different because cricket demands adaptability to ball movement and field placement while baseball prioritizes power and speed in a single decisive hit. At this point, I felt like I had a solid understanding of why cricket bats are designed the way they are. 
But then I wanted to dig deeper. Why is willow considered the best wood for cricket bats? I explored every possible rabbit hole and the answer was always the same. Willow is lightweight, durable, and has excellent shock absorbing properties. Supposedly, it offers the perfect balance of power and flexibility, allowing batsmen to hit the ball hard without easily breaking the bat. But here's the thing. What if we step outside the box for a moment? Let's challenge this idea and explore whether Willow truly is the best option or if it's just the best we've settled on. Stick with me on this next part and let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'd love to hear what you think. You see, cricket bats have been made in roughly the same way for over 200 years, with English willow as the primary material and a flat-faced cane handle design. However, the shape, weight distribution, and minor enhancements have evolved over time. While willow is the traditional and widely accepted wood for making cricket bats, it may not necessarily be the best option when considering modern technology, sustainability, and alternative materials. Here's five reasons why. Number one, willow, despite its advantages, is also prone to cracking and requires frequent maintenance, oil application, knocking in, etc. Other hardwoods like hickory or bamboo laminated wood could provide greater durability and resistance to wear, reducing the need for frequent replacements. Hickory was historically used in bat making and offers higher density and strength, reducing breakages. Number two, Studies have shown that laminated bamboo bats can outperform willow in durability and power generation. A 2021 Cambridge University study suggested that bamboo bats provide more rebound energy, allowing batters to hit the ball further with the same effort. Bamboo grows much faster than willow, taking 5 years versus 15 to 20 years, making it more sustainable. Number 3. High quality English willow is only grown in specific regions, mainly the UK making it expensive and limited in supply. This is a whole other video in itself, including factors related to climate and soil condition in the UK, disease resistance, pest control, economic and industry control, etc. The list goes on, so I won't get into it. Number four, the cutting of mature willow trees is not environmentally friendly compared to faster growing alternatives like bamboo or poplar. The dependence on willow makes cricket bats more expensive and exclusive limiting accessibility for players in developing regions. Number five, willow bats, particularly thicker ones, can be heavier, making them harder to handle for younger and amateur players. Alternative composite materials or engineered woods could provide a lighter, more customizable bat without sacrificing performance. Even with all this research, I still wasn't satisfied for two key reasons. One, I couldn't find cricket bats made from other types of wood, to test against English willow and compare their performance firsthand. Two, while I had gathered a lot of information, I hadn't really established anything concrete through direct experimentation. So I took matters into my own hands. I built my own cricket bats. Every bat met professional standards and regulations, and I made sure to use the same cane handles found in traditional willow bats to ensure a fair comparison. I have made and tested cricket bats out of oak, bamboo, cedar, pine, and poplar. I've published all my cricket bat build videos on YouTube. I'll include links to them in the video description. While each wood type has its pros and cons, I find it hard to declare any one wood as the definitive best. Here's why. Across all five bats I've made with different materials, the feedback I've received has been about the feel of the bat. In every instance, testers commented on the sound the bat made or the level of shock absorption in the handle. Not once did I hear that the bat lacked ping, felt off balance, or didn't perform as well as a willow bat. In fact, players testing the cedar and pine bats reported zero difference when compared to willow, and even went as far as saying that those bats offered better shock absorption and sound. However, from my limited experience testing cricket bats, I've found that cedar and pine bats wear out more quickly than willow, oak, or poplar bats. But if I were to play cricket myself, I'd certainly enjoy using a pine or cedar bat for a match, with a couple of extra bats on hand just in case one breaks. I love the stroke those bats provide, and the feel is softer compared to willow, poplar, or other hardwoods. Again, this is just my personal preference, 
not a definitive argument that cedar or pine is objectively superior to other woods. After building and testing cricket bats from various types of wood under the same conditions with identical testers and manufacturing standards, I find it difficult to accept that English willow is definitively the best choice. There's no clear evidence to suggest that willow outperforms other options. Ultimately, I believe it comes down to the player's preference. In conclusion, while willow remains the traditional standard, modern engineered woods, alternative hardwoods, and bamboo laminated options could outperform it in terms of durability, sustainability, and accessibility. Personally, I think the idea that willow is the best is more rooted in tradition than in an exploration of potentially better alternatives. So, is English willow really the best? Maybe. Maybe not. One thing's for sure. Tradition isn't always the same as innovation. And maybe, just maybe, the next great cricket bat won't be made of willow at all. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please share it with your friends and family. I'm just a small woodworking channel trying to navigate YouTube, and your support truly makes all the difference. Thanks so much for watching.